Like with calcium, boron plays a key role in plant cell structure, helping form and strengthen the cell walls. When boron levels are too low, new growth becomes distorted or takes on a crinkled, thickened appearance. Because calcium and boron deficiencies both affect cell structure, their symptoms can look very similar, and foliar nutrient testing may be needed to confirm which one you're seeing. Boron is absorbed via transpiration and is immobile within the plant, meaning once it's integrated into older tissues, it can't be moved to the developing new growth. High humidity, poor air circulation, and root health issues can all limit boron uptake. In severe cases, boron deficiency can even cause loss of the flower buds or the apical meristem. Boron is a micronutrient, so while it's essential, it's only needed in small concentrations. Most commercial fertilizers include boron in their guaranteed analysis. However, if you're using low fertilizer rates, like during propagation, the boron supplied may be less than what is needed by the crop. If boron is deficient, it can be supplemented with a foliar spray or drench using products like Solubor or Borax. Because boron is required in such small quantities, it is also possible to apply too much and cause toxicity. Boron toxicity usually starts on the lower to middle leaves as a marginal yellowing or chlorosis that progresses upward through the plant. It's important to note that some irrigation water sources contain high levels of boron, so it's essential to monitor boron levels through water testing. When it comes to boron, remember that good airflow Healthy roots and monitoring your fertilizer rates are all critical for keeping boron levels right where your plants need them.